Hey there wrestling fans, welcome back to another episode of Wrestling Club Elite. Today I've got some juicy wrestling rumors that you need to know. Remember these are just rumors, so take them with a grain of salt. First up, WWE initially considered the name Caesar Sikoa for Jacob Fatu when they were thinking about bringing him in. But they decided against it. Interestingly, WWE still holds the rights to that name so we might see it pop up for another wrestler down the line. Next, let's talk about AEW and Warner Brothers Discovery. There's been a TV deal offer on the table for AEW for months now. Both sides are optimistic and believe they'll reach an agreement soon. They're also discussing the best nights and time slots for AEW's shows. Now let's dive into AEW's finances. Reports suggest that AEW spends around $104 million annually on talent salaries. For AEW to break even, they'll need a hefty TV deal from Warner Brothers Discovery. About 50 to 55% of AEW's revenue goes to wrestler salaries. Comparatively, WWE spends less than 20% of its revenue on its wrestlers. This was as low as 8%, but it's believed to have increased in the last five years due to more competition. This lower percentage is a big reason why WWE is so profitable. Lastly, there's some buzz around Brian Danielson in AEW. Rumor has it, he's set for a big kayfabe push despite his recent losses. This could be his last year as a full-time wrestler, so expect some exciting storylines. What do you think about these rumors? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more wrestling content right here on Wrestling Club Elite.